Well, neuroendocrine tumors are a rare form of cancer that can originate from anywhere in the body, often from neuro, neural or neuroendocrine cells. Often they can originate in the intestine or sometimes in the lung or different por portions of the body. They're also unusual because they can be very slow growing and difficult to diagnose. And in addition, sometimes they can produce hormones that can create unusual patterns of presentation. Most neuroendocrine tumors originate somewhere in the abdominal cavity or intestinal tract, the most common being either in the small intestine called the ileum or occasionally in the, in the appendix. And it's not uncommon that they originate in the pancreas, so-called pancreatic endocrine tumors or sometimes called islet cell cancers. In most cases, treatment is recommended for neuroendocrine tumors at the time of diagnosis, particularly if it's diagnosed when it's still localized. So a tumor, for example, in the small bowel, a carcinoid tumor, when it's diagnosed, if it's localized, then typically surgical therapy is recommended. In some cases where it originates in the pancreas, for example, and it's localized, then pancreatic removal or partial removal of the pancreas is recommended. In some cases, neuroendocrine tumors may have evidence of metastasis at the time of diagnosis. In those cases, often surgical treatment or medical treatment is recommended at the time that, that metastatic disease is diagnosed. When neuroendocrine tumors of the pancreas are diagnosed, then the recommendation typically is surgical removal of part of the pancreas. So if the tumor is located in the head of the pancreas, then sometimes either pancreatic duodenectomy or the Whipple operation may be recommended. If the tumor is very small, then enucleation or partial removal can be done. And in the cases when the tumor is in the body or the tail of the pancreas, then we can often offer laparoscopic or open distal pancreatectomy. In the case when neuroendocrine tumors are located in other locations, such as in the small intestine or appendix, then intestinal surgery is recommended. This can be done either with a laparoscopic or open approach, typically removing the portion of the, of the intestine that contains the tumor as well as, it, as its surrounding regional lymph nodes. In many cases, when the neuroendocrine tumor already has evidence of metastatic disease, the liver is one of the most common places where metastatic disease spreads. And it's not uncommon that we may recommend aggressive surgical therapy to remove all or most of the metastatic deposits within the liver.